name's Gary Burton. I'm the uh, I'm one of the directors of Beyond Recovery. I've been lucky enough to be part of Beyond Recovery and help them as much as I can since about 2016. I came across the understanding of the principles that is the the work that we that, that we do in prisons in the community uh, around about then, and I went to my first three principles conference back in 2016 it was an amazing time at that time the principles were having a really profound impact on my life and making my life so much easier and um, everything about my life easy my business my family my relationships everything i went to the conference uh, jacqueline was doing one of the the main talks the plenary talks and that particular year she read out a letter from one of the guys she was working with in in in, uh, in in Onley. As she read this letter out, I was in the audience with about, I don't know, a thousand people, and I was incredibly moved by the letter, as were everybody in the audience. I can remember I, I, I had tears in my eyes and so did a lot of other people. And it was just this guy talking about what a difference the work beyond recovery had made to him and how his life had changed and how he was, although he was in prison now and he'd been in prison for a long time and, 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 and started having issues with, with drugs and, and, and criminal activity and stuff when he was really young, how it had made such a massive impact on his life and it had changed and how he felt that although he was in prison now, um, he was freer than he's ever been. And that just, when I heard that, and I, I, I've been sitting there in, in my own world thinking, this is amazing. But when I heard that it could make that much difference to somebody, that just blew me away. So I, I was a bit unsatisfied with my business at the time. I knew I wanted to do something a bit different. I went and saw Jacqueline in one of her breakout meetings afterwards. Again, I just loved everything she was saying, the work they were doing. I dropped her an email afterwards because I was a little bit scared and did, did like anxious and didn't want to go out and talk to her at the time. I don't know if I ever told her that. But <laughs> so I dropped her an email afterwards and said, I'd love to, to, to come and look at what you do in, 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 in prison and, and the work you do because I'd love to see what it is. And, and, and from what you said, I, I don't know how I could help, but I'd love to help in it any way that I could. So she emailed me back and said, sure, come and have a look for a day and, and see what you think, and you'll know whether you like it. I've never been in a prison, visited anybody in prison before or anything, so obviously you, you, you're a bit anxious about that. But I remember when I talked to her and said, oh, I don't know what, what I could do or whether I could be any help, that I remember the thing she said is, you'll know if, it, if, it, if it's right for you, and... And all I ask of anybody that does the work is if you can love the guys, um, then that, that everything else takes care of itself. So that's what happened. I went up there for a day. Um, I think it was in about September of 2016. I had an absolutely amazing day with three or four of the guys there. It was just incredible. I came away with such a feeling of love and connection like I'd like it, it just blew me away so I said yeah I'd, I'd love to come and help you in any way that I can at the time I think she was running like a, a course a month at that time so because she had some facilitators around her and it was building and and I said I'd offer to help in any way that I could we put this idea together of doing what we called the big bang where because it had got so popular at that time uh, Beyond Recovery had about 100 people on the waiting list to see because one person would say to the other. The idea was, because you had 100 people on the waiting list, we would do the Big Bang and, and like, basically blow all the budget that we had for the year in the next three months and run a course every, uh, every week of running up to Christmas um, to, to try and impact as many people as possible. So I was just... I was just so, so, so lucky and privileged to be involved in that.
and I started going along and helping as much as I could first and then I started to share a bit more and then I became a co-facilitator and then obviously started facilitating and those times were just incredible and those three months obviously I come from Norwich so I was traveling over and staying over for most of the week over there to, to do that and uh, it was just great and uh, it was amazing to see one the trim transformation in a lot of the guys there and what they saw and how they saw life differently and understood life to, to work differently and, and said things like why I've not been told this before etc as much as they were being impacted I was being impacted as well and in, in such a deep way so that's where it all started it was it, it, that was the beginning of the journey we've gone on to do so much i've been so lucky to be part of the team and, and help in any way that i can jacqueline uh, is just an inspiration in the way that she's not only founded it and it was her vision in the first place but guided it all the way through um, and now um, I'm lucky enough to be part of the team and work with Derek and Omar, who we worked with back then in, in prison, but are now fellow directors now. And how amazing that is to, to be part of the team working with those guys. Um, and uh, it's just one big family. Rob, Jacqueline's husband, is heavily involved in it as well. And it's just a, an amazing team. Obviously, the last couple of years, the work's changed a lot from working face to face in prisons to again brilliantly all the guys looked at that and see how that had to change and we had to work remotely so they came up with self-study programs and and stuff to programs to put on national prison radio and way out tv to to to, to get the understanding and the message out there and they've done an amazing amazing job and it just goes from strength to strength and um i'm i just i still just just feel so lucky to be part of it and uh want to uh just support it in any way that we can going forward because i just know that the more of this understanding gets out there whether it's in prisons or with, with, with the guys as they come out or in the communities with families, it, it just makes so much of a difference.